How's that emotion settled down a bit, son? Well, it settled down for the minute, but I tell you what, if the footy keeps on like this, Ronnie, it'll be straight back up. There'll be heart attacks everywhere because this is a magnificent game of football. Ray Robertson kept his charges there for uh, probably the full term of that uh, three-quarter time break. Uh, Toraio boys were back in their positions, raring to go. The Pies into the Brews really need to get the draw the first blood of this final quarter if they're going to bother the Devils run. Well, I don't know if that's a good move because if you get it late at $100 a minute, that might hurt them. But I don't think Chicken War would be too bloody happy, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay, well, the margin, two points here at three quarter time. Who's Umpire. winning? Well, the Pies by two. Umpire commences the final quarter. And look at that, Headley against the, the bigger uh, did well. Robertson and did well. Got the ball to ground. Out to the outer side of the ground, but in front there was Brockenshire. Cool of the crisis. Kick though, drop short. Oh. Mark, yeah, should have been taken there, but it, it was mopped up nicely by the defence. It was Brett Glenn. How good is this fella be? And, uh, yeah, that man again, I think I've called him about 45 times in Stephen Ryan. He's going to hit the deck soon, and he's not going to get up, Ronnie. And I just hope for his sake that it's at the final time, because he has given his all. I tell you what, he mightn't be getting up this time. Well, he's obviously a bit tired. Oh, well, he ought to be, too. He's had 400 kicks, 700 handballs. <laughs> and about 1,000 knocks to the body. Oh, he just keeps going down, doesn't he? Yeah, he stopped it. But typical of the boy, he just keeps getting back up again, too, just like you used to do, Ronnie, <laughs> in your heyday. That's a few minutes ago now, mate. <laughs> I don't think I'll get up now. Ball now, lovely kick, too, down the piece of goal. Looking for Boyle at ground level. Overlaying the footy was Brett Glenn. Ball spills out, Boyle tried to trap it, but he couldn't do so. Kicked off the gun. Oh, danger. Danger goes straight to the arms of, I think you'll find that was uh, possibly Matthew Ince. In fact, that was the 31. Chief Mitchell on the ground now for the Devils. Kick, though, not a good one. It's well defended there by Jeff Scratcher Ryan. And uh, he gets the ball to the outer side boundary line. About 50 metres now from the Devil goal. That breeze is still blowing pretty strong, mate. Yeah, it, it most definitely is. Very congested half forward line here for the Devils. Robertson did well, got it to Jones. High tackle. Head, hand oh, pass good was good to well. Oh, you got to get rid of it, son. Bit slow. Opportunity here. Kelvin cheating. Drop punt looking there for Mitchell. Lost his footing at the crucial time. The Pies now through Scratcher. Cool in the crisis. Over the top to Scan. Great competitor. Been good. Been. Good vision too and finds Wilson at half back. He's been good too, Wilson, as he puts it up in towards the centre of the ground. It's picked up there by, oh, who was that? Carlo uh, Tool. Go Tool. He puts it in towards the half forward flank. There's a foot race on. Oh, he's been taken out of it. Umpire says it's legitimate. No, he doesn't. He said it's a free kick. And that'll go to, it could be Sean Hoskin. Sean Hoskin played a reasonable game. Well, he's a long way out against this wind. I would have suggested he move the ball on just a little bit quicker. But he may prove me wrong and put in a beauty. But he is a long way out, Ronnie Bryant. Yes, I'll test him. Breeze over his left shoulder. Comes in. Got to go for the left goal post. Oh, he started it at the right. And it's going to keep going further to the pocket. Oh, here's Look a out! Mark Bellow who kicked the... Oh! I think you'll find him sheer strength and courage has popped it on his oh! left foot. And I tell you what, he's kicked a very handy second goal for himself today and uh, draws first blood for the Magpies and extends their lead now to eight points. Wow, that's one out of the blue, Ronnie. That's exactly what the doctor ordered for North Geelong. And Carayo, the Carayo boys, as I said before, they don't give in. They'll be keeping on coming, so we might go right down to the wire here, mate. Three and a half minute mark of the final quarter. Margin back to eight points. Robinson does battle with Headley, but at loose at ground level. Picking it up now was Brett Glenn for the Devils. Long bomb. Hayes! Better judgment. Running back with a fly to the footy has taken a great grab. I just think Gavin O'Toole, he's pl look, he's played a fantastic game, so don't get me wrong, Gavin, but you just went the wrong way that time and you just left this kid on his own. A bit of a mistake there. 30 metres out, the drop punt. It looks good. There's the reply. Popped it straight through the middle as Kane Hayes. I told you they wouldn't give in, Ronnie. Kicks his first and guess what? Margin is now back to two points. Magpies, can they hang on, Grub? 
Oh, there's no way in this world I can tell you, Ronnie. It's been such a fantastic game. I think anything could happen. Uh, I tell you what, I tell you what intrigues me. What's going through Barry O'Toole's mind at the moment? He coached this side all year, but he's playing in the seniors. He's inside, getting changed and getting ready for the big one. Does he look out the window or does he get prepared? What happens there? She's be hard, wouldn't it? Oh, terribly hard. Well, now opportunity in Magpies through Brockenshire. Kicks the ball up to the pocket. The big fella there. Oh, great play to Balloon. missed it. Uh, that was oh. Nathan Dans unselfishly got it across to the run of Baloo, who, uh, well, missed from 30 on the run. Should have nailed that one. That's modelled his copybook. Two goals, one, Mark Baloo. Well, he's kicked two goals, but I think that one is the one that he really needed to kick. Okay, 10 6, 66, North Geelong, 9 at 9, 63, three points the margin. Now, the ball brought back into play. They've gone short. Boyle, long bomb. They're looking for Headley. The high flyer also was Rutherford having a run on the ball. Good hands, Keating. Morrison got it down, looking there for Dale Smith, who's loose. Postle uh, bit comes out. But oh, look, Smithy went the wrong way on that occasion. But put the good tackle on. Support. Well, he's a man on his own here. Here's a go. Play on! And play on he does. I tell you what, young Sean Gundry. Gundry's kicked three straight. Can he make it four? Oh, I reckon Runs he will. Full distance. I Bang. reckon Bang. he will. It and he did. It's like straight oh. Oh, 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 four goals. Straight. Sean Gundry puts the Devils back in front. I'm, that's a 100% record, Ronnie. I knew he'd kick that. You see them. You just saw him line them up and said, I'm going to kick it. Great goal. What a vice captain's goal. Well, all comes back to Daryl Smith's tackle here at centre wing. It was a great tackle. He was out of position. He was gone. He could have said, ah, oh, look, bugger it, I'm tired, and let the North Geelong boy go, but he didn't do that. Caused the turnover and a costly one at that. Devils, three points in front. Ball now, Harrington at ground level. Spiral torpedo to half forward. Good work, Matty Ince. Likewise there, working hard was uh, Priddle. Got it forward now for the Pies. Into the square it goes, but oh! Strong in defence, the Devils. Great work there from... I think you'll find it was uh, young Greavesy. Goes to centre-half back. No one home, though. It's all the pies. Brockenshire looks up the ground. Sees the loose man in the pocket. They're fighting oh, over... Oh, no! Like Rockstaff and uh, Hoskin got in each other's way. And they've mucked it up. Uh, Grubby? Oh, yeah, there's still a chance. But, oh, yeah, there was a possibility there. But I tell you what, the pressure is right. This is pressure cooker stuff, Ronnie. Well, that could be a costly turnover there because now I think you'll find the Devils will get the penalty free kick. There's been a whistle on play, yeah, and it's going to go the way I think it's uh, Boyle has got it. Last line of defence. A big drop punt to the halfback flank. Oh, the high flyer a bit early there was um, Brett Glenn and uh, a better anticipation, Sid Jones. Good footy. Sees the lead there of Nathan Dance. Comes out. He's kicked 35 goals for the season. There's no one on his mark. The big fella plays on. Bangs it up towards the oh, goal. It's coming back! Points. It's a good-looking effort, but I think you'll find it just dropped short. Oscar at ground level for the Pies. Under pressure to hear from Rutherford again, doing well in defence for the uh, Devils. Forces him over the line and out of bounds. About three or 15 metres now from the North Geelong goal into attack. Early stages of the final quarter. This time, Robertson tries to pluck it out. Oh, he's flapped it on his boot. Off hands. But again, good defensive footy. Morrison, I think you'll find. For the Devils, gets it through for a mock uh, rush point. For the Pies. Just bringing them a little closer. He's got to do something good with this wrist injury. He's been fantastic all day. Well, he's gone short, he's gone short, and he finds Ryan, he's been absolutely magnificent, he's bombed it with a torpedo, out towards the wing position, two on one, North Geelong in the van, can't quite pick it up over there, the ball's going to roll over the boundary line for a throw in, they had two on one there, Ronnie, and I tell you what, if they'd have got away with that, we could have had a change of the lead yet again. Yes, yeah, certainly, Grubby. 10-7-67 North Geelong, 10-9-69 Carayo, and we've been travelling, let's have a look at the time clock. It's eight and a half minutes gone of the final quarter. Over it comes now. Can't pick him up, but it was a great end ball anyway. Jones gets it. He's tackled. What's the umpire going to say? He's going to say, give it to me, boys, and I'll throw it up. 
Yeah, James, a little lucky. I mean, he didn't really try to get rid of the footy. No, I'll give him a benefit of the doubt without prior opportunity there, Ronnie. Yep. I think two more steps and he could have been in trouble. But prior opportunity is the name of the game these days. And I think the umpire made a pretty good decision as in he comes. Up it goes. Looks like Big Robertson's trying to get a nice tap out. Couldn't quite do so. It comes to the deck. No one can pick it up. He's got to play a high tackle here. Who's that, Ronnie? It's Tony Welsh. Tony Welsh. Welsh. On the wing position. Get it moving, son. You need a goal. Hasn't got many options, so he's going to bomb it. He bombs it out towards the Carrillo player. That's a terrible kick. And in the van is Carrillo now. They put it up towards a half-forward flank. Wing position at St Albans Oval. It's picked up there. Who was that, Ronnie? Right? That's a good again. kick too. And over they go, North Geelong. They're a real chance here. It comes over to Harrington. Harrington decides on hands. He puts it over to Dance. Dance could kick this and put him in front. And he has done so, Ronnie Brain. Ho, oh, ho, Nathan Dance just been on the ground. Five minutes, I'd suggest. Kicks his first. And 36 for season 2002, and the Pies are back in front. What do you say when neither side will give in, Ronnie? What do you say? Well, mate, it's well, it's just great crack character from both clubs. Both it's played club. great footy, and uh, well, it's going to get down to the wire, mate. 11-7 now, 73 North Geelong. They lead try 10-9-69, margin back to four points. Ten minutes gone of the final stanza. No side deserves to lose this, Ronnie. Out it goes out onto the wing position, and Paul Cotter's after the ball. He's played a lot of footy, Paul Cotter. And he's going to try and ham it up, but he can't do it. It's come out now. Oh, it's a kick towards, but Jones intercepts. This is when they're going to call on the experienced players. Jones decides to run around. He gets on the left foot. He's kicked a lot of left foots, and it goes over towards the boundary line. And that's what that's when you can get on that left boot and kick it as well as on your right. You're a real danger out there, Ronnie. Yeah, it's a skill. And uh, I noticed a lot of players in this reserve grade grand final today can use both sides of their body. Real advantage under pressure situations, Grubby. It's a pity blokes like Welsh, he couldn't do it when he was playing. I tell you, Ronnie would have been a champion. <laughs> You're a brave man, mate. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm oh, Dan. Good footy. Attacking the ball with fresh legs. Got it across to his running teammate there, whose high ball load goes straight to the arms of Daryl Smith. He played a great game. Set a half back now. Alex to kick the high ball to the centre of the ground. Oh! oh! McCarthy, the magician. The great McCarthy. Plays on, goes out wide. Carlo Tool, left foot pass to the pocket. Lovely way that to was kick. was a magnificent kick. Hosky, better oh. judgment. But wasn't the kick centimetre oh, first? Oh, yeah, the kick was magnificent. Well, opportunity now, Hosky. It'll be tough from here. He'll probably need to yeah, just no, to give it off good. because the breeze is going to blow the ball away from the goals. It's coming over his left oh, yeah. shoulder. In the left forward pocket, the drop punt. Yep, I think oh. he's allowed far too much for the breeze. And uh, one point the result. The uh, guest video final quarter scoreboard now to North Geelong, 11 8 74. Five point leaders over Korea, 10 9 69. Ball out the outer side of the ground, ground level now. Good work there in defence. I think you'll find it was cheating again. But Jones in the way for the Pies, under pressure from Morrison. The young legs. That was good play for Morrison there. Jones was off and running if he couldn't stop him, but. I think it might have been. I don't know how old he is. He looks like a kid. It looked like the kid against the ageing. But I tell you what, he did a very, very good job. And I tell you what, Ronnie, they get a point. Prior to the goal. I don't know about you, but I'm bloody, I'm coming back next week. I'll be here, Gabby. I'll be coming back. Breakfast uh, or no breakfast. <laughs> get on you, mate. You love your footy as well. Oh. So does Ray Robertson with strength. Oh, he burst his way through. Oh, high <laughs> tackle there on young uh, Walsh. No free kick for coming. Umpires have decided to put the whistle away, mate. Well, that's fine by me. Well, ball out of bounds now. Right half forward flank. Pies into attack. Breeze seems to have dropped a little, which will suit the Pies going into it in this final quarter. They've got a handy five-point lead. Robinson doing well. Hits it straight back from whence it came. Just wasting a little bit of time. And the experience now starting to show from these oh, fabulous look, magpies. He's, he's lifted his work rate, Ray Robertson, and so has Daryl Jones. 
Harrington's come in this quarter as well. And I tell you what, I, I can't pick it from here. Okay, Robertson again does well to ground. The Devils just seem to have locked that, lost that little bit of bite around ground level. Back of the pack, the, that looks like Kevin Hayes. Kevin Hayes. Back in the, the mark, fresh legs now for the Devils in defence. Goes to the centre of the ground. It's a good knock. Yep, James, they look at mopping up now across the centre line. Just chips it up to half forward. Great Guess play. Who? Stevie Ryan. Wow. With courage, goes back. Hand passes wide, looking there for cheating. Kel, one way or the other. It was Morrison, in fact. Oh, no. Lost it, though, and I think Brock and Shire stole it. Kicks up to the pocket, looking for Hosking. Oh, Logstaff comes out strong. But Rutherford mops up now for the Devils. Dangerously goes across the face of goal. Will it sit for Rissinger? The big burly full back now. Has two bounces. Comes to the member's side. Three bounces. Good shepherding, Daryl Smith. Allows the big fella to go in board. Great football. <laughs> and football. finds uh, Ashley McNamara centre winger. Oh, that's McNamara. not so magnificent. His kick was a shocker. Keating's there. Under pressure. Good enough to pick oh, it up now. Good. Steady. Just chip over the oh, top. Oh, he's on his own. Hayes again. Poor checking. David well, I don't Wilson. know whether the poor checking was from Wilson or from O'Toole. Gavin O'Toole or Wilson, but they... One of them had to go to him, neither of them did. And, oh, my God. Great golly. vision, though, Cal Cooney. You had the, uh, the intelligence just to take his time. Picked him out loose. Oh, the kick, he's hooked it. I think you'll find it's coming back, but no. Offline. Off the boot of Kane Hayes. One goal, two, his personal tally. Listen, Ronnie, in an important goal like that, you're allowed it. You've got to take a little bit more time and steady down, son. Bit of an experience, mate, maybe. Now, waiting for the ball now from Stretcher. Jeff Ryan. Again, elects to go to the outer side as he's done all day. Chips in short. Ooh. Scout. Oh, yes. Yeah, good mark. Here's uh, Brad Scout. He's been good, this kid. Been he's very been very consistent. Good. Four quarters of footy. Scout. He's uh, just located his finger in that first quarter. Had it pop back in again, and he's done very well for his side. Alex to go short. Morrison over the top good was boy. good. Hell without it. Paddle forward. Hayes can Second redeem Second chance! Lobs it up there, looking for at the back of the oh, pack. Oh, Jones up. got back. Has he become a talent factor in this contest? He certainly is. And uh, Brad, uh, Darren Bennett there probably should have went the punch out of position and, you know, kept the ball alive for the Devils, but unfortunately off to try and out Mark. Jones. You caught that early, Ronnie. Punch from behind. And now the Magpies. The legend. Taking his time. Letting the clock tick away. That's Hugs the boundary line. Drops short the kick. Into that strong breeze. Good work there was against Stevie Ryan. Got it to uh, towards the boundary line. Darrell Smith races on the magician McCarthy. Pushes him over and we'll have a boundary throw in. About 70 metres now from the Devil's goal. Member's side of the ground here at St Albans. Devils kicking to the uh, Buckley's Entertainment centre end. Loose ball to half, centre wing position, sees the big fella, you know. Hazelwood. Oh. Hazelwood now. Oh. Under the pump. Smith too quick. Left foot good. kick to the corridor was good. Picks out Hayes. What's he going to do this time? Over the top. Here he goes, the Rhino. Can he kick one from 70? Elects to drop punt it to the Bennett, but it hits the point post. And it's out of bounds, and another opportunity gone, begging for the Devils as they trail the pies on 10 10 70, North Geelong, 11 8 74. Guest video, final quarter scoreboard. Time checks, uh, 18 minutes gone, Grub. Well, I tell you what, there's not much time on either. We've only got six or seven minutes to play here as Robinson grabs it out of the ruck. He tries to pick it up. It's the Carrillo boys forcing it forward. Nobody can get it out. Now it comes out to Hazel. Gundry, one of the two. I can't pick it. Comes out again. Oh, there's a free kick here. He might have held on to him a little bit long. It might have been a very, very lucky one. Was. They've let a lot go today. They probably should have let that one go. Yeah, but if I... it's there, well, you've got to pay it. Well, they've let it go most of the day. I think young Hayes can think he's lucky stars. Kane Hayes, can he make amends here, though? Picking himself up now off the deck. Geez, that's an important free kick, that one. That is very important. Well, this will give the lead back to Carrillo by two points if he can nail it. Well, I tell you what, he's missed the last couple. 25. The pressure's been on him, but I tell you what, the way this kid's played, he'll put Carrillo in front of you. He'll 20, put Carrillo in front of you. 25 metres oh, out. Oh, crikey. 
He's missed it. That's a 98%, Ronnie. One goal three. That's a bad miss. That's two in two minutes. Some of the crowd have just yelled out, all you deserve, your mug, and, well, we may agree, well, we'll agree with them, Ronnie. Well. What's Scratcher going to do? I reckon he'll go out to the outer. Yeah, I reckon he's done it. He's been very predictable all day. There's been some of the leads coming to the member's side, which is ignored. Brett Glenn in front for the Devils, but I'll tell you what, working hard, Brockenshire. Oh, great level. play, Robinson. Yeah, knocks it on about 20 metres, 30 metres to the run of Jones. Now at half back, now he goes to centre wing, dodges one. Then steadies, looks up the ground, looking for his teammate in O'Toole, under pressure. In fact, it was Ballou who can't control it. Good pressure there from the Devils. Well, it was, but it was a good kick too. He did kick to a one-on-one, -on -one, but he made sure it was bloody close to the boundary line, and that's what you've got to do in pressure football. Yeah, time clock ticking away. We've got the Maggies by three points. Can they hang on? Got 19 and a half minutes gone on the final quarter. Knowing we've got 23 minutes plus time on. Very short quarter as we see again Walsh, who's been busy. One of the smaller brigade of the Pies does well and kicks it again to the boundary line. And, yeah, the experience might be just telling enough here. Ah, uh, look. I tell you what, I can't say, have enough praise for the coach of the North Geelong footy side. I think he might have lowered his colours early, but by crikey, has he come back into it? He's given them his all. Yeah, Paul Robinson. And he does it again. Brockenshire with skill. Hand pass intercepted. Ricochets back to Brockenshire. Pulled off the ball. Walsh is in there. Caught one a bit high there from Stevie Ryan. I think you'll find a bit unlucky, Ryan Ope. Umpires on the ball. I think I'd have played that one. Yep. I think I'd have played that one. There's no worries about that one. And I think uh, young uh, Walsh is cramped. And so he should. He's put in there. Uh... Has he or hasn't he? <laughs> Has he or hasn't he, Ronnie? Well, a bit of experience coming out of the, the young head. A eh? bit of experience. Minding that, knowing the clock's ticking on. I think Ray Robinson's run past him and said, Cramp, you bastard. Cramp! <laughs> That's what I think he's done. <laughs> Well, he's got it. He just goes in board. He's going to wind the clock down now. There's Harrington. Oh, too early for that. The skipper. Nice left foot kick looking there for Jones. Oh, he's got himself in good position, didn't he? And uh, Sydney Jones in no real, no real hurry. We've been travelling. Let's have a look. 21 and a half minutes of this final quarter. Well, I think after three and a half quarters, he's walking back as quick as he can. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think. The old legs have uh, done some miles today. As they have a very illustrious footy career of it. Hello, hello, hello. There's something going on here. Behind the plate. There's something going on here. In the square. Don't wreck it, umpires, for God's sake. 50 metre penalty. Well, I don't know. I think, I think he's pulled a free kick out in the goal square for holding. Oh, well. If it's there, you've got to pay it. Fair enough. Scoreboard check shows that uh, North Geelong enjoying a three-point lead. Well, I think they might be employing a nine-point lead at the moment now. Okay, now, James is coming off for a spell, I think. He can hardly lift his legs. He's done enough, he reckon. He doesn't look like the bloke I used to thrash in athletics all those years <laughs> ago, Brony. <laughs> well, he's going to come off and have a spell, and so he should. Well, I don't know about so he should. He must be in almighty trouble because there's no way he should be coming off the ground now just for a spell, I can tell you that. Well, Nathan Dan has got an opportunity to kick his second. It was... Uh, yes, they have to get Jones back on the ground straight away. I, I don't, you don't take blokes like that off the ground. Well, Dan's comes in point blank range and it's there. I think the pies are home. No, they're not home. What's the time? Kicks his second. What's the time? 21 and 3 quarters. 20. Two minutes gone of the final quarter. I reckon we've got four minutes. Oh, grubby. Four minutes, they've kicked two I've quick goals. You. I've told you already, Ronnie, these Corio boys, they don't give up, mate. They don't give up. Scoreboard check now moves the North Geelong side to 12.880 to Corio. 10.11.71 margin, nine points. Two quick goals the Devils need. It comes back to the centre. Robertson does battle with uh, Headley. Well, Here they go. Petey got it to Ryan. Go, Rhino! Left foot kick to the corridor, but oh, oh great, great mark. mark. I told you Jones would be straight back on, didn't I? Yeah. They can't leave a bloke of his calibre off the footy field. Well, the magician McCarthy goes out to Wilson. He's he been good, Wilson. this kid. He's attacked it hard all day, Ronnie. Dave Wilson now. Been very strong. Very athletic, yeah. Uh, 
Kevin Half might as well flanker. sit out here with me. He's been sitting on his ass all day. <laughs> <laughs> the drop part wobbles up there to half forward. Jones in front, knocked away by him by Ressinger. Loose ball, sees Keating, swoop on it. He's got an opportunity here to kick Jones. it out to the direction of McNamara. The kick there, not a good one. McNamara. Keep your eyes on it, son. Daryl Smith now comes through. Long ball up there to the uh, teeth of goal. Back oh, scratch has lost it in the sun. Yep, could not see it at all. Blinded by the light, as they say. Or by age. One of the two. <laughs> well, it's out of bounds. No score resulting. Two quick goals. They could still lift the Devils. Time check shows. 24 and a half minutes gone. Oh, they need one right here. They need one right here, the Devils. Ball now comes to ground. Hayes. Traps it under pressure. Got around one oh, tackle. Oh, it's a free kick to North Geelong. Something off the ball, I'd suggest. It looks like uh, Harrington's just gone over there to uh, attend to him. He's not too good by the looks. He's young fella. I don't like the look of this. Well, this will stop the, the time clock. Well, the time has been blown. The time on's been blown, so it's not going to affect the time left in this contest. But he doesn't look too good, this fella. Uh, it was off the ball as well. There's a pack of players over there. Hayes had the ball. And uh, obviously there was a bit of strong shepherding being done yeah, off the I ball. Yeah, I don't know whether there was anything malicious in it. I, I think it was just one of those things that happen when you're putting in as hard as these two teams are putting in. Fair dinkum. North Geelong now. Defend and go out wide to the outer side of the ground. Has there been a mark paid? I think you'll find uh, it, it is. Might be a free kick to Ray Robertson. In front, yeah. Robertson He's again with life. experience. His time. Robertson. On the half-back flank. He's going to milk this for all he's worth. So North Geelong can take home the flag. Marshalling the troops. Has a look up forward. Oh, he's gone back. And he's gone back to Jones. And they've done the old Essendon trick here. They're going to keep possession. And they might have done it earlier when it was too early. But I think now's the time to do it as Jones. Takes plenty of time. North Geelong Knight rue the fact that he can't do it in the seniors this afternoon. As he puts it up towards the wing position, the big men fly. No free kick, no mark. Yes, there is a free kick. The umpire's picked it out, and I think he put the hands on the shoulders early, Ronnie. I think it might be the magician again, isn't it? There's McCarthy. a bit of a dust-up. There's a bit of a dust-up, but I don't think there's much in it. This has been a tough, hard game without anything of that sort in it. North Geelong have the footy. Exactly what they have to have at the moment. Because they're what, nine points up? Yeah, let's, uh, yes, they are nine points up. That was a pretty good guess. Time now, into time on, I'd suggest. I think they can hold oh, it. Oh, what a beautiful mark. There he is. That's the big fella. <laughs> Dr. Gadget. Fair oh, dinkum. he's done well, hasn't he? The he's magician. done well, the big fella. Jacob McCartney. And now, Karai. Oh, he's telling you what, he's got the arm the wrong way. He's taking it off him. No, no he's, he's given him 50. A little bit of frustration now coming into the Devils. A little bit of... Uh, Undisciplined play running across the mark, I'd suggest, uh, Grubby. Wow. And uh, now that'll bring Daniel McCartney to about 40 metres out from goal into the teeth of the breeze. This will take a mighty kick, but in more importantly, seconds off the clock. That's the most important thing. Seconds off the clock here, Ronnie, as in he comes with the big left boot. I tell you what, that is the match winner. The big fellas put through the match winner, Ronnie. Great goal, kicked his third, the magician. They can't come back from here. No, I think this might be beyond them, mate. Time check shows that we have been playing 26 and a half minutes have gone. It's just about all over, I'd suggest, Rub. And the North Geelong Magpies, 13-8, 86. They lead the cry. Devils, 10-11-71 margin now, blown out to 15 points. And who would have thought that? Well, I did. I picked it. <laughs> As you well know. <laughs> As you well After know. Really. the ball is over. <laughs> Good on you, Grub. The accurate one. I tell you what, though, I did say the Carrillo boys wouldn't give up. And I'll tell you what, they'll get it down here. And I'll show you that I'm right. As away they go. Gets it out of the centre. Should have been a Carrillo free kick, and he's gone the other way. And I only made that up because I couldn't see that from there, but. Oh, and it's going to go to Robertson. Oh, Big Robertson. Big Ro I tell you what, he's put in a magnificent coach's effort. The Tanzig medalist will hold it up. Give him a chance. 
Put your boot into it, son. He's gone on the left. He's seen a little lead here, and it's a beautiful little kick. And I think this one's over. This one's over as Mark Walsh puts it back into the centre of the ground in the Jones direction. Ah, oh, but Prittle comes through with a handball, puts his team under pressure. Magnificent play! Puts it up into the full line, and a big mark! And I'll tell you what, it is over. Brock and Shear, and the Diamond. siren is gone! The siren is gone on this epic contest, Ronnie Brain. Well, congratulations to the North Geelong Football Club. Those magnificent magpies as Lockstaff comes in, but I think it doesn't matter. I think he's missed it. He has. But percentage doesn't matter at this same time of the year, mate. Paul well, Longstaff, one goal, one for his efforts this afternoon. Well, I tell you what, you said congratulations to the North Geelong Footy Club, but I think correct congratulations have got to go to Coloyo too. They were gallant in defeat, Ronnie. Yeah, they certainly were, and uh, what a great game of reserves football here this afternoon. Final scores, North Geelong 13-9, 87, have defeated the Coroyo Devils 10-11-71, a 16-point margin to the North Geelong Football Club. And, uh, well, quickly, Grubby, goal kickers here this afternoon for the North Geelong Magpies. The magician, Daniel McCarthy, with three. Two goals apiece to Nathan Dans and Mark Bellew. Singles to Simon Flagg, Carlo Toole, Paul Longstaff, Rhys Brockenshire, Ray Robinson, and, uh, of course, the veteran, Daryl Jones, with that timely goal. For the Devils... Sean Gundry with four, Darren Bennett with two, and singles to Leonard Headley, Kane Hayes, Frank Poslovic, and of course Brent Rutherford. Your three, two, and one here, Grubby, this afternoon. Well, my three, two, and one, oh, I really don't know, Ronnie. I'd like to go through every single play on every on both sides. They were all fantastic. I tell you what, for North Geelong, they were just great. Um, blokes like Jonesy struggled early. Him and Ray Robinson struggled early, got him back in the game. Brad Scown gets my two votes. I thought he was fantastic. Absolutely unbelievable, Brad Scown. I'm not going to give a one vote because I couldn't be bothered. I can't even remember. So you giving three votes too? I'm giving three votes to the. He's going to. I'm going to do a Morris Rioli here. A Morris Rioli will go for the losing side. Stevie Ryan was magnificent. Stevie Ryan, congratulations. Yeah. He was Wins magnificent. the medal for the Gis Video oh. boys. It was Righto. What, what score? 10-11 to us. 12-8. Good afternoon and welcome to St Albans Reserve for GDFL Grand Final Day 2002. North Geelong and Corio live and exclusive on 94.7 The Pulse this afternoon. A big day in store. We've, uh, sorry, we're a bit late. The reserves ran a bit over time. We were doing some, uh, some video work there with the boys from Guest Media, so we are a little bit late from starting. But uh, welcome to a beautiful day at St Albans Reserve. It's a little bit windy, but the sun is out and there is an absolutely huge crowd here for what should be a classic encounter between North Geelong and Corrida. The Magpies and the Devils for the Bay City Cabs Cup in season 2002. We've seen two great games this morning to lead into the senior grand final, the under-18s and the reserves. North Geelong just winning the reserves grand final to, uh, to hopefully lead into their Magpies winning the senior one this afternoon. But Corrida will have something to say about that. As always... Victoria's number one country football commentary team with us here at St Albans Reserve. Eric Nichols, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Jase. It's been a great day, but a magnificent day. As you've mentioned, the weather absolutely perfect, absolutely huge crowd, and uh, really looking forward to a top-class game. The men doing special comments as always. They've been hustling over teams and making sure people are playing and things this afternoon. Coaching North Geelong. I don't know whether he's too happy about it. I think he might be. I think he's on their bandwagon. Good afternoon, Laurie DeGoldie. Good afternoon, Jason Eric. No, look, I'm uh, looking forward to the day today. I don't care what it is. A grand final is a grand final, no matter where it is in the Victoria. And uh, we all love our football. And today it's going to be no, no, a pretty special day here today. I, uh, uh, the weather's right. There's no excuses for uh, not running the game out here today. And uh, there's a huge crowd here as well. So that gets, that gets the enthusiasm and the adrenaline running. So everything's fired up here for a great game. We can tell uh, li our listeners that Laurie was pretty pumped up with the C grade netball. That's how pumped up he is about a grand final. It doesn't matter what grade, what level, what sport. He was pretty pumped up. It was a grand final. Also joining us, coaching Carayo, quietly confident as he sits behind the three of us in front here. Good afternoon to Paul Welsh. Good afternoon, Jase. Good afternoon, boys. Yeah, it's a fantastic day. And as Laurie said, no matter where they play them, grand finals are great and great to be uh, a part of. So 
it was a great second game leading into the uh, senior game, so let's hope this uh, the senior game can carry on through the vein as the day goes on. And uh, we'll be having the presentation of the Buckley's Cup for the Reserves to North Geelong. As we said, they had a close win, a great game between North Geelong and Corio, fighting out the Reserves and the Seniors this afternoon. And uh, in the Reserve Grade competition, Eric, the uh, final score? I think the final score, 13 8 86, North Geelong defeated Corio 10 11 71. So a 15 point win to North Geelong. And in the under 18s? Under 18s have come from behind, win for Bannockburn 8 5 53, defeated Corio 6 7 43. Yeah, a couple of late goals from. Uh, uh, a player named Sean Mitchell got them over the line for Bannockburn in the under-18s. Hero under for the day. Exactly. Grand finals will keep you up to date with the preliminary final at Skilled Stadium this afternoon. Also in the Colac and District Football League in the under-17s this morning. South Colac got over Western Eagles 6-6-42 to 6 2 38. And in the reserves, Apollo Bay. A big win, 16-14-110 over Lawn, 6-3-39. And we'll be keeping you up to date with Lawn and South Colac this afternoon in the Colac and District Football League. But here, boys, as we said, North Geelong and Carayo. Laurie, North Geelong, uh, we believe Simon Lofts is playing. We believe Simon Shannon is out of the side through injury. Uh, he was reported last week, got off the charge on Monday night at the tribunal, but can't take his place because of injury. And Simon Lofts, who did a hamstring, is playing. Well, we just hope that it all fit, uh, Jason, because uh, it'll tell a tale by the end of the day here today. It's uh, 24 degrees here today, and if you're not super fit, you won't be able to run the game out. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see there how that unfolds. I just see... How the game today. I don't think a grand final is any different no matter where you go. I really think the side that's prepared to be hard at the footy from the start of the first bounce is going to have a big say who wins this game. Uh, a couple of times we've seen Cryo play this year uh, in our videos around the, around the season. They've been very, very good early. They've played a magnificent first half of footy and probably gone to sleep a little bit in some third quarters. I think if they do all their hard work today, uh, uh, Welshie, I think uh, North will have their hands full. So uh, I, I think it's got to be pretty competitive this game uh, at half time because I think if you're a long way behind, you're not going to win this game today. I think with the weather the way it is, I think uh, the skills and so forth will fall away a bit towards the finish of the game today. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Uh, Laurie, I think the side that settles, settles the first, gets the nerves out of the way and get, gets the score on the board early, can uh, win the game. And that's a, uh, the start Karai will be looking to get. They've got a good start uh, in the second semi and on a day like today with that week off on the big ground it could tell in the end with uh Carrier having last week off winning winning their way straight into the grand final uh north long had to come the hard way although they uh, finished off well last week and hit a bit of form towards the end of the game so you know i think it's a side that settles the first as uh eric and laurie will agree settles the first and gets gets into a rhythm first i guess for the other feature today it, it would be in excess of 20 degrees right now quite hot out in the ground and we were standing uh, waiting to come into our broadcast booth and it is very hot in the sun that'll have some effect after half time oh look there's no doubt about that eric and uh, as we just said you know it's when you've got to call on the fitness and uh, look uh, as an old coach point of view eric i've always thought that when you get, get the grand final whether you win or whether you lose i think you get uh, assessed how fit your players were and if you put a uh, fit 20 players out there and they can run the game out. I think most times you're going to win the game and you'll certainly get credit for having your sides uh, super fit on that particular day, which is today, of course. So we're just seeing uh, the parade of the medal winners this year, including Clayton Trotter, the Whitley medalist uh, this year. But the Ivan Tanzing medalist was playing this afternoon, so he couldn't uh, be on the back of the truck. Kane Harrington will be but very happy. He might like to be on the truck now. He'd be very <laughs> happy this <laughs> afternoon. And I didn't know Dick Philpott's um, buried for North Geelong. Oh, oh no, that's, that's unusual. A, that's turn up, isn't it? Yeah, back slapping out. There he is. Oh, well done, yeah. Dick. Good work. A huge crowd here, as we said. Big crowd in the, uh, in the, the main arena at the moment with the presentation of the Reserves Cup for season 2002. Tim McCallum will be singing the national anthem this afternoon before the start of the senior grand final. And don't forget also we'll be keeping up to date with the netball this afternoon. The grand finals at the southern end of St Albans, the A-grade netball grand final this afternoon between Winchelsea and the Belmont Lions. We'll be keeping up to date with scores in that this afternoon as well. Isn't that a magnificent scenario down the netball? You know, the uh, the courts and the grandstands and huge crowd down there. If they came back here, they'd be... <laughs> oh, I'll never get them in. <laughs> Eric uh, and Welsh, just a little question, quick one. Uh, how important is it uh, just to stand back and watch your reserves win the, uh, get the medals around your neck? That must lift you a little bit, I think. Well, I think that the seniors obviously won't be out there, I wouldn't think, Laurie, but I mean, the well, message will go inside very rapidly and uh, that'll give them a huge bit of a kick along and uh, I suppose Karai have lost two, so obviously the incentive's there for them also. Having lost two, you reckon they'll be all out to win one? Well, I, I guess if you're written, man, what do you do? What, hey, where's the odds go? I oh, suppose uh, Cryer must uh, surely have a fair show of winning one today, I guess. So, uh, 
look at that. They'll give it their best shot today. There's no doubt about that. Peter Kelly has been is joining us also this afternoon. He's been uh, looking. He'll be looking at the boundary line and the coaches at uh, quarter and three-quarter time has also been inside the Karaya rooms before the start of the game. Pete, good afternoon to you and uh, what was going on in Karaya's rooms? Yeah, yeah, good afternoon, Jason, everyone. Um, yeah, look, I, I, the big emphasis there was that, um, the fact that they've got a lot of youth and they've got a lot of uh, run in their legs and, and uh, they also were you know, mindful of the fact that uh, North Geelong possibly taking a couple of injuries into the game but they were really pumped up and just saying, look, we can run for the four quarters and we, we just reckon we've got the fitness and the, uh, and the run in our legs at the end of the day especially under these conditions. Couldn't get in the north rooms, got me nose in, that was as far as I got. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to uh, Peter Kelly, looking after the coaches this afternoon, he'll be listening to Russell Hearn and to Tim Schwenison this afternoon throughout the day. Well, she would be probably pretty happy about that, the youthful side of things, with it being such a warm day this afternoon, being able to run the game out. They've shown the second semi-final they were pretty fit, and the, uh, the youthful uh, side that Cry has got on a day like this. Oh, for sure, the, the, uh, the young legs on a big ground, and as we We've spoken about already the weather and the ground's very, very hard too. And, and obviously, players are going to be, uh, get put sore by uh, halfway through the third quarter. That, and that's when I think the young legs will take over and hopefully they can get plenty of the ball. And with the young fellas playing, I think they've got to um, get their hands on the ball early, get the nerves out of the way and just, just settle in, just settle into the game. And that's what Ricky O'Toole would have been telling them. Just get your head over the ball. We've got good umpires to be looked after and protected. So get your head over the ball and get in first. All right, well, uh, we might take a break. When we come back, we will have the start of the 2002 JDFL Senior Grand Final between North Geelong and Karai. You're listening to it live and exclusive on 94.7 The Pulse, your home of local football. between North Geelong and Corio. The Magpies and the Devil should be a classic clash. We're looking forward to it. Just finishing off presentations of the reserves. North Geelong have been victorious there. Bannockburn in the under-18s, as we said. So a lot to look forward to for the Magpies, hopefully. But Corio will be trying to spoil their party and take one back off them after, the reserve, after their reserves team went down to the Magpies in the early game. Some key players this afternoon, guys. Laurie, for you, who do you see as a couple of key players for North Geelong? Look, I think it, it, it'll be run around the middle, I think, uh, Jason. I think someone's going to have to uh, try and uh, match it with Ricky O'Toole a little bit. I'm not sure who's going to get that job. I wouldn't be surprised whether Russell Hearn would be prepared to run with him or not. But whoever's got a big job's going to... Uh, uh, that's going to be a big task to uh, nullify. I think they've got to get uh, a bit of, uh, more from uh, Ratchke. He's in the, I think he's going to probably start on the half-forward flank or around that area. They expect a bit from him. I think they've got to try and play tall. I think they've... 
probably been their success all the year. They've probably been a little bit tall than most sides, and uh, when they go direct, they've probably been uh, successful. They've got to maintain that today, but uh, there's an old saying in footy, you've got to be able to get it first before you can do that, and uh, I know the pressure cry is going to put on North Long. They folded in the second semi, I felt under pressure. If they do that again today, they're going to get rolled, but if they can maintain themselves, uh, get switched on, be footy smart, kick the ball in the right positions, up to the up to the tools in the right manner, I think they can get over the line. This will be a close game. Uh, as I said, I think uh, we'll see which way this gonna, game's going to go at half time. I don't think uh, someone's going to come from out the clouds in the last quarter to win this. Well, she for you, from Karai's perspective, some key players? Oh, well, of course, can't go past their, uh, their captain in uh, Ricky O'Toole and, um, of course, Barry O'Toole down forward too and can be used in the midfield, so... That's very good. Johnny Cousins was great uh, in the second semi around the ground. Did run out of legs towards the end, but I think uh, you'll see him at his best. Uh, best on the ground in the second semi. Nevada Cornwall re rebounding off half back, and Dravowski as well. They, they form a, a pretty good half back line back there with uh, King up forward. We'll be looking at um, centre half forward in uh, Big Robbie Walton just to give a contest and keep Fisher Ed you know, off the ball and get uh, the players of Amon Charles and so forth underneath him. But if the back line can hold together as they did in the um, in the second semi, I think we're on our way. And um, of course, Ricky O'Toole is going to get his 40 possessions. We see North Geelong going through their final paces at the southern end of the ground. Karaya out on centre wing on the outer side. Simon Loft is in the team, as we said, and he's out there. Simon Shannon, I saw, was carrying the board. So he is out of the side, not playing. That uh, hamstring's pretty heavily strapped, Loz, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's it, making it, sure it all stays together today. Yeah, it should, could, be a, could be a worry, uh, Jason. I'm not sure if I was coach whether be prepared to take that risk, but obviously I have. Uh, just getting back to the good players that North Geelong expect from, I think Rory Piddle's got to do a little bit more. Mario Zitko, probably a little bit more as well. I don't think you win a, a grand final with uh, four or five players. I think you've got to win a, a grand final when you've got probably 15 or 18 blokes contributing. And uh, if you've got blokes having probably 10 to 15 kicks each right down your uh, team, I think you'll get over the line.